Salita Circus in Salita, Colorado. So ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Steve Cusetta! Wow, thank you so much. I'm sorry, the, we are, I am from a small town called Salida, Colorado. It's a town of about 5,000 people right in the heart of the Rockies, little tiny town, and we love to travel because it allows us to experience things like running water and electricity and cable television and audiences with most of their teeth. That's the main thing. Um, I'm gonna do a little magic. My name is Magic Steve. Why do you think they call me Magic Steve? Just yell it out, huh? Because I do magic? No, it's because my name is Steve. My other job, I'm known as Plumber Bob. I have so much more fun. That's Magic Steve. I have actually asked a couple of people to come up on the stage with me, so if you'll give them a big round of applause, they didn't know they were going to be in show business. This is Pat over here. How are you, Pat? Come on up. And this is David. And this is David's lovely mother, Noble. How about a big hand for these guys for helping us out? All right, I'm going to have you guys just stand there and face the audience. That's these people over here. You're going to know it's an audience, because later you're going to hear them yawning. A lot. Give me a favor, Cat, if you don't mind. Do you want to see? Do you want to see the greatest magician in the state of Colorado right here, right now? Well, he didn't show up today, but we got Magic Steve Nobel, and that's Noble. That's what matters most. Do me a favor, put out a hand like that. Okay, now when I do that, I want you to grab me like this and like that, top and bottom. Can you do that for me, Cat? Okay, great, perfect. Squeeze really tight. Okay, when the fingers turn blue, you want to relax just a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead, and hang on. Now, Cat, it's a classic of magic. I call it the vanishing handkerchief, and Cat. The reason we call it the vanishing handkerchief is because the handkerchief is going to vanish exactly. Give her a big hand. She had no idea there was going to be a test. Okay, for the record, we would have accepted vanish, disappear, and or go bye-bye. All acceptable answers. Watch very carefully. Now we're in any sleeves. Cat's holding on tight. So when the handkerchief vanishes, the audience is going to go crazy with applause. But Cat, don't let go. Don't let go proud because the magic is just beginning. And Noble, you might not have heard it there, but Noble said, and I quote, oh my god. And trust me, that is, that's going on my resume Monday morning. Now here's the thing, Kat, even though we're working with people 40, 50 feet away, this is a close-up style of magic, not wearing any sleeves, Kat's holding on tight, and the magic handkerchief, you can, we'll wait, I don't mind if you, okay, thank you. And again, oh my god, that is awesome. Okay, you can let go now. Thank you, though. Cat, everybody wants to know where the handkerchief goes. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to pull it over my hand like that. Just say stop anytime. Reach up, make a hole. The noble right where she did that, that's exactly where the handkerchief goes. That's the expression we love in this business. That's why we do these things. Cat, you've got two awesome hands. You've got the cookie hand and the milk hand. Take the cookie hand, wave it over the handkerchief, and the magic of Miss Cat makes the handkerchief vanish, and the audience goes literally lukewarm with a response. 90% of the time when a handkerchief vanishes, it goes up the sleeve. That didn't happen today. Not wearing sleeves, and Cat was holding on tight. Sometimes it goes in the pocket. Sometimes it goes in the vest. Cat. I'm a weird magician. When I make something vanish, it goes to a weird place. You ready for this? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on. No, no. We had a nice little magic trick going. It got weird there at the end. Of Another night in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am Magic Steve from Salida, Colorado. I am so blessed to travel all over the place performing magic for awesome audiences just like you guys. And I did that trick for a kid up in Vail, Colorado about three years ago. And he looks at me and he says, Steve, that was a pretty cool trick. But he said, you had the handkerchief in the mouth the whole time. Isn't that crazy? What I tell people is if you have an ego or even a tiny bit of self-esteem, try doing magic tricks for little kids in Vail, Colorado. <laughs> They will take care of that right away. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and repeat the trick, but I do want this to be totally fair. Can we all agree, can we all agree as an audience that I do not currently have a mouthful of handkerchiefs? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to repeat the trick after I seal the vault.
with them crazy.